Hi guys, this is Deb with Four Seasons Crafts. So I'm already in my pajamas. Um, so I thought we would chat just a little bit. I wanted to share a few things with you uh, that I um, hadn't before. So uh, there are price increases in the catalog. I don't think that's any surprise to anyone um, with the new one coming out in May. But I wanted to tell you about some of those items. And there is a list that I will post on the Facebook page. And I will put that, try to put it on my blog as well. But things like um, the envelopes and I thought I brought them over here. So the medium size white envelopes, those are going up $2 and I think 50 cents per pack of envelopes. The white cardstock is going up, I think it's $2.50. I think the envelopes are either $2.25 or $2.50. So, and then I think it's the same, it might be $2.25 for the thick white cardstock, but those specific things are going up um, a lot. I, I, I think it's a lot, right? Uh, Multi-purpose, um, this little green glue, I think it's going up a, a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty-five which again, you know, it, it just went up from 450 to 550 and then it's going to go up again. I think it's going to be, I don't know. I, I just can't remember, but it's, but it's a lot and I'll post the, post it on the list. And the only reason I tell you guys that is because right now you can also get clearance items that are, uh, like last chance items. I should say not clearance, but last chance items that have been discounted up to 60%. Not everything is 60% off, but um, there's a lot out there, stamp sets and dies. Um, there's a couple that I think I'm going to get. There's the, There were those ones that um, you could make a whole like 3D flowers. That was only in the catalog, I think, one year. And it's a nice set. And it was like $37. And I think it is 50 or 60% off. So those are the ones that I think you can get pretty, you know, it's a good deal. So I would love to have you shop. If you go to shop for season, shop for seasonscrafts.com, um, it'll, it'll uh, take you there. All right. So I think that was it. That was like the big thing I just wanted to tell you about is just how um, some of the prices have, have gone up. And let's see, I'm going to have a catalog launch party here uh, at my house. And then I'm also gonna do one online, kind of a fun all day um, event. So we'll start in the morning with some coffee and then go and just have different um, videos and posts and that kind of thing throughout the day. And then at night, um, we'll come back together and do a card. So somewhere in there, I think I'm gonna also do a game, like maybe mystery stamping so we can stamp along. So it should be uh, a fun day. Um, the catalog kicks off on uh, May 1st, which I do not believe falls on a weekend. So uh, if I don't do it, I, I don't think I'm going to do it May 1st. I think I'm either going to do it a Friday or Saturday. I just have to see what my, my work schedule is and then um, either just do it Saturday or, or Friday. But it'll be a fun time regardless. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. All right. So I think that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and point you guys down and then we're going to make a card together. So this should be pretty fun. All right. So let me, let me do this. Let me get past so you can't see any of the like junk right there we go. Okay. So let me just loosen this just a tad so that I can get it up. You know, I see people do this online and it's so slick. I think they have software one, but I do see people with their cameras and it's like they just bend it down. And I'm like, okay, I got to find out what that is. All right, you guys, I think this will work. So this, um, so we're trying to make Tuesdays our 10 minute card, right? Thursdays are techniques or fun folds. And that's what we're going to do. Um, that's what we're going to do today. So let me tell you the measurements and and we'll go from there. And let me tell you too what stamp set we're gonna use and dies. So we are using this stippled rose. This is gonna continue. It, it was in the kind of the spring catalog, I guess I would call it the mini catalog and it's sticking around. So that's awesome. We're gonna do a Mother's Day card. So um, that'll be fun. I can send that to my mother-in-law and she loves purple. So I think we picked, I picked the right color. So you guys tell me, um, you know, do you uh, 
send out a Mother's Day card. My mom passed away several years ago, actually, so she hasn't. Um, but I have a mother-in-law, and I will send it to her. All right, so here we go, guys. So the first thing we need is a piece of eight and a half by five and a half, all right? Then you're gonna need a piece of designer series paper that is five and three eighths by four and an eighth. Now, the eighths, the three eight, uh, the um, three eighths and the, um, and the four and an eighth, you could just do five and a quarter and four, all right? I just like that little, just a smaller border, so again, that's what this one is, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Then I have a piece here that is two inches by five and three eighths. And then I embossed it. So I embossed it with this folder. It's the brick one. Um, let me see if I can put something under here. Well, that's probably not going to show you much, I don't think. Well, maybe there you go. You guys can kind of see it. So it's like uh, kind of a rugged brick look. But I really, I really like it. Um, I, I think it's going, I can't remember if it's in the new catalog or not. But there you go. That kind of gives you an idea. So you're going to need that. Then we're going to need a piece that is, I think this is two inches. Yep, two inches by five and three eighths piece of white. And then I have some, um, then you're gonna just need a piece of white scrap for us to actually stamp on. And I've just done some stamping because I wanna show you a couple techniques with this. And then I have this one, um, again, you only need one of the flowers, but this one is on um, watercolor paper because I wanna show you a little bit about that. So this is it really. Um, and then we're gonna need, of course, another scrap for our sentiment, but this is this is pretty much uh, all we need, along with um, like a scrap of designer series paper. So you'll see. But these are these are our main components. Okay. So here's our fun fold. I really like this. I did it in our team. I showed this in our team meeting on Wednesday. Um, I'm starting to do those Wednesday at noon on my lunch hour, and I'm loving it. I really I really like it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece of cardstock and we're gonna um, we're gonna score it at four and a quarter. So nothing, nothing new there, right? That's what we typically do. But now I'm gonna move it back to the two inch mark and I'm going to cut this off. Okay, I'm gonna cut that piece off. Now what I'm gonna do is flip this piece and I'm going to score it at two inches. All right, so I cut it two inches and I scored it two inches. So that's so that's one of our things. We're going to try to make it so it's easy for us to easy for us to remember. All right. So we're going to take this and grab our bone folder, and let's go ahead and put this down. Now this piece, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fold it over, and then what we're going to do with this is we are going to so we kind of assemble our card a little bit before we even get started. We're going to just adhere that right down in between, okay? So you can eyeball it um, just wherever you think kind of the middle is there, and that's where we're gonna put it. If you wanna be very specific, then I would be sure to measure. Okay, here we go. And then we're going to put this right, oops, about there. Let me just double check here. Move that up. Just a tad, there we go. So be sure to comment if you're watching. I don't have my computer over here. I'm kind of like a ding dong there. All right, so there we go. So this is our fun fold so far, all right? So all we did was we sliced it off and then we put it right here. So you can get two cards out of one piece of cardstock, which I think is awesome. Okay, now here's our piece of designer paper. And I think I am going to do this side here. And then I'm gonna do some florals uh, up here on the front, okay? So you could pick and choose however, you know, you might wanna do this side. Let me just double check, yeah. I think we're gonna do it on the other, the pattern side. So I'm just gonna go ahead. It's 
kind of sad when you have to make that choice. It's really hard when there's one side, like you like absolutely both sides of the paper. That's when you have to make a card that shows both sides, right? That's when you cut it and make the, you know, do one of those like C fold cards. That's, you know, those, those are nice because then you get to, you get to enjoy both sides, both sides of the paper. All right, so there we go. So we're gonna put that in there. Now we have this piece of white cardstock and that is going to go right here. All right, so it's gonna be hidden under, under this right here. And actually, you guys, I'm gonna take just another, um, I think I said this was five and three eighths, which I did, and I think I actually wanna make it um, five and a quarter. Or, yeah, five and a quarter, because I want just a slight border there on that one. I'm just gonna. Okay, and then that way, when I put this in there, I get just a very, very um, small border, because this is five and three eighths, right? So this one we're just gonna cut down just a tad. Okay, and you know what? Why don't we do. Yeah, that's, we'll just, we'll just do this. Now you could stamp this piece if you wanted to, okay? As I put it down in here, I was debating, but I have so many things I want to show you um, tonight in our techniques, so. And there we go. You just want to make sure, so make sure you lay it and then fold it just to make sure you know exactly where it is because this is gonna be your piece to cover it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to add this, our purple, or um, I'm sorry, this is um, Highland Heather, and we are going to adhere this right to our front panel. Now, one thing about this card too, you guys, is you can add, there's a lot more places that you can, oops, I'm sorry, I'm not on, not that you need to see me glue, right? There are a lot of places that you can add additional designer series paper. So you might find that you have a scrap or something. This card has a lot of little pieces that you could add to it. We're just keeping it fairly simple. Okay. So here we go. So now what I did, and like I said, I already stamped. So I, what I did was I stamped the larger image um, on a piece of cardstock. So I did it on this one and I did it on this one. Now what I wanna show you, and let me see if I can just zoom in a little bit. There I can. And I just wanna make sure I get these and get them to stay right where they are so you guys can get a really good good look at them. Okay, so first of all, let me go ahead and die cut this one. All right, so I'm just going to do that really quickly. I'll do it off off camera since I'm, I could show it to you. That'd be kind of funny. It's like the size of, be super big. All right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to make my sandwich here. So I have my plate one, my little shim or plate two, then I do a, another plate and then I'm going to just put this right on here. And I, my plates are pretty worn. So I'm just going to line these up here and just look for, again, I know I've said this probably before, just look for a few places to get your die lined up. And then I'm just going to put a piece of post-it note tape here so that I can kind of make sure that everything is, everything is good. Oops, let me get that over just a bit more. This is where, this is probably not good for me to do on camera, right? This is why I do it beforehand because it's like, okay, Debbie, enough, enough. Because it's gonna be off, I just know it. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna plop it in over here and then we're gonna run this through. And um, I'm gonna show you guys a couple different things you can do. All right, so yeah, I'm off a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so when you 
when you um, stamp it, it looks like this, which I think is absolutely beautiful, right? I mean, just the detail is great. However, one of the things I did on this one, so this I think I did in uh, Gorgeous Grape, and this one I did in Highland Heather. So what I did was I took one of these blender pens here, and it has some solution in it. That's what it, that's what it is. It has some sort of solution because if I put something on the ink, it won't, it doesn't, you know, come off, right? Like if I were to just put water on here, it would not come off. But if I use this pen, I can actually get it to blend. And that's what I was doing here. Um, is it actually picks up the ink and kind of blends it right in. You use these are awesome for um, for colored pencils, but I just wanted you to see what kind of happens when you use it on something that you've stamped. So you can look here and you can just see, because I did a lot of it already, but can you see just the difference here, just where it's all blended versus this has a lot of smaller dots. Okay, so that is one technique is just take a, so stamp your image and then take a blender pen and you can actually make it look like watercolor here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our other image here and I'm gonna take our stamp set and I am actually gonna use, I think Gorgeous Grape. Now I never do this, actually I'm not gonna do that because I don't like to get my ink pads all dirty. So what I'm gonna do it's if you take your ink pad and then you just ink. This ink pad I think too is pretty, oop, there you go, lots of ink. And you just basically rub it on here. Then you're gonna get some pretty, and then I'm gonna bring in one of my, um, my uh, water painters. And this barrel here has water and I filled it with water. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my image and take my block here, and I'm just going to dab some water on here. So can you guys, you guys can see that. And then I'm just gonna mix it around. So I'm just gonna make myself a little bit of watercolor. And that's why we used, by the way, I said this one was watercolor paper. So it's this right here, it says Fluid 100, and they sell it in the catalog. And I don't think that's going up in price. And now I can actually do this and take and do some water coloring here of my of my flowers. Now this one, of course, you're gonna give it, wanna give it plenty of time um, to try. Okay, and we're and we're gonna wanna make sure we don't get um, you know too too much too much water. And I'm not a good, you know, I'm not a great uh, water colorer, but you can see, you can kind of let it run out, you know, and then you can go back and just put in some really nice dark spots if you wanted to. Or I could even take this and go back and just where there's those dots kind of go along and add add some more um, color. So I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of this, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the of the technique um, and how you can make something look, you know, super, super nice. Oops. And, um, and again, one of the things that I know I've heard other people say is, um, you know, just do little, little by little, right? And that way it doesn't get too, too, um, too dark or, um, you know, too much, too much ink. So if you start out, you, so you use more water than you think you're going to use. I guess that's my, I guess that's my, my ultimate point. And then to clean your brush. So again, I'm not going to do all of this. But you guys get um, hopefully the idea that you can then go and kind of make those darker spots as you go out. And the other thing too is you could use different colors as well. 
um, on your on your flower. So I could start to get in different shades of purple if I wanted. And then of course you can always use your your blender pen. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna uh, basically, let me get a paper towel here actually. I'm making kind of a mess. Um, and let me go ahead and zoom back out if I can here, there we go. Okay, so now what I can do is I can take this and I can just add, just squeeze right here. It says push. I can push the water through and that will clean my um, brush. And then I just keep doing that until it's nice and clean and I'm no longer getting purple because it's going to stain a little bit. And then I can just put my cap back on it and it's ready to go for next time. And then, of course, my clear block I can just run that right here. And then if there's anything, any small residue left, then I could actually run it across my scrub pad there. But that is it. And then you can do watercoloring in any of your ink colors. All you need is that, and you get three of these brushes in these water painters, and they come in different size tips too. So this one you'll see is a little bigger. And then I think we've used this one before in one of the other videos and um, it's a much bigger, much bigger brush. So super fun, um, lots of choices there. Oops, got a little, got a little hair that one of the little bristles is, um, there we go. All right, so anyhow, awesome little, awesome kit of brushes there. Okay, so this is our watercolor. When we're done with our card, if it's still, um, you guys will just notice it'll start to the colors will fade and it will look a little bit a little bit nicer um, but we're going to use this one on our card so let's bring our card back in now on this card I was debating whether to do it this way um, you know when it gets opened up like this which is what my others have been or if I should do it this way and open it up like this and then this is where you would write, or you could have something down here. So I think I am actually going to maybe do it this way because I haven't done I haven't done one like this yet, and I would like to. Um, sh and I'll show you some of my other samples. All right, so I'm gonna pull. I gotta get a piece of um, scrap paper here, and this is one more piece that we're gonna cut. You don't you don't have to have this, but I want to cover this piece here, this brown um, or uh, crumb cake. So I'm going to need a piece that is one and seven eighths. Because remember, we cut it at two inches, right? And so I just want, again, a small border. And I want to put this right here. So it's one and seven eighths, and it's gonna be, because we um, did it at two, and this is, um, five and a half, right? So it's three and a half. So I'm gonna actually make it three and a quarter. And I think that will be good. All right, Move this out of the way. And now we are just gonna add that right like this. I just wanna make sure I've got the flowers going the right direction. I don't think it matters is what I'm kind of seeing there. So I don't think I can tell on that piece. So we're gonna go ahead and put our adhesive here. All right. Okay. And we'll just um, scoot that down. So again, this is just kind of to give it a little bit more color. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add this right here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some adhesive right on this lip here. And then we're gonna place our flower this way because I want it to go to the end here, right? But I don't want it to go um, too much past because obviously it needs to fit in the envelope there. Isn't that pretty so far? So now you can open it up like this. And then we have it here. And then again, I could add another piece if I wanted of um, like the designer paper 
here. Um, not this piece because it's not long enough, but you guys get the idea. So I could put something else here if I wanted. So I'm going to add um, a sentiment that says Happy Mother's Day and a little bit of twine. And then we will be, we'll be done. So let's move that out of the way. So we have this. Oh, and I wanted to add a green leaf. So I wanted to add Happy Mother's Day. So here's our stamp. And we'll just put that right here and bring out our ink. And remember, these are already um, the red rubber, so we don't need to do any kind of um, uh, have, you know, that black mat to give us the foam. We don't need that because this already has it in it. So I just want to remind you guys of that. First couple years, I don't even think I knew, uh, you know, that you needed to do that. And I kept wondering why my stamps were not working. And then sometimes they would, and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Well, I just wasn't, didn't quite know. That's all. All right. So we will close this up. And let's go ahead. And I'm thinking, um, I have a circle punch here, but that's way, way too big. Um, and I was thinking about maybe we'll just fussy cut around this one. Okay. We all know Debbie does not like to fussy cut, but that's what we're going to do. So we'll just kind of do really big around this one. All right. We're not going to get to where we're so close, but we'll just kind of hop around here and, um, All right, there we go. Doesn't look too bad. All right, I also have this green leaf here, and I thought I would just add a little bit of greenery um, and kind of maybe push it back here a little bit just to give us a little more color. So we're just going to run that through our uh, cut and emboss machine. Um, so... We have May. Now, I think in April, it's Teacher Appreciation Day. So if you have kids in school, great time to think about maybe um, making some cards and and, uh, and giving those to, to teachers. We used to, uh, when our kids were little, we would make a bunch of cards. I, I would make a bunch and then take them to school. And then kids could actually fill them out while they were at school and write a note uh, to their teacher. We would have like five designs or something like that there. So it was really fun. Um, all right, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little adhesive and just kind of put that back there. Or maybe what we'll do, maybe we'll do that instead. That way we have a little bit of attention drawn to our Happy Mother's Day. So I think we'll do that. that. That way it's not so stark, I guess. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll just add a little bit of adhesive here and stick our leaf here, and then we're going to add some dimensionals on that. Okay, so we'll just stick that right there. And while that dries just a tad, we will add a couple dimensionals here. And then we'll just pop this on the front here. And maybe we'll put it up here a little bit. There we go. We don't want to cover up too many of our pretty, pretty flowers. And then let's take a little bit of twine and add a bow and we are all set. So I'm just going to layer this a little bit. And yeah, we'll just tie a pretty bow here and add that to our card. Oops, 
And we'll add a nice, oops. All right, there we go. We'll just trim that down. There we go. Here's our card. We'll get a glue dot. That's the other thing that's going up, you guys, glue dots. So I'm not sure what those are going to be. I can't remember. So I will definitely get that list out to all of you. And we have an, um, an event here Saturday. So I've got it. I would like to have it ready for all the ladies coming on Saturday too. So they know as well. So, all right. There we go. And I don't know why, but I think it needs a little bling, a little sparkle. So let's find some sparkle here in my little basket of sparkles. Um, let's see. I know we have some in here. Oh, we'll just pick whatever we, we'll just pick whatever we have. Um, you know, we got some that like there, there we go. They're kind of clear. I think these might have come in a paper pumpkin. So we got a whole bunch left over. Look at that. So we're just going to take this and we're going to add a few of these all around our card and get some beautiful, oops, we don't want that there. Okay, perfect. And I think that's good. All right, you guys will have to tell me how you like it, but it's a super fun fold. And let me just show you a couple others. They don't have any um, there's no words on them. I mean, like they're, they're not even like all done, but uh, I just wanted to show you. So this is the one going this way. This one would go like this. Uh, I have another one here where I put the paper on the inside and the outside. So again, um, I have, so I have like three of these. Um, and then here's another one with just a different shape. So I was, as I was going through and, and working on these, I didn't finish these. I just wanted to see the different shapes, but you can see how you can use any, a circle square. And then when you do that, you can make it so it opens again like this. Uh, if you wanted, you could put something that would open it this way. But I was looking at these and I thought, wouldn't this make a beautiful invitation to something? Not this particular design, but the, but the actual card fun fold. You could put a picture of somebody right here and then open it up. And then have, you know, details here or details down here. Or you could make this a perforated if you they needed to send it back. So just so many options, um, I think, with this little fun fold there. So anyhow, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a great evening. And um, Saturday, so Saturday during the morning, I have a class. And then... Uh, Saturday night, I'm going to show you the cards that we made. I'm going to, we're actually going to make those cards um, in this video. And then uh, we'll kick off next week's um, card, uh, card series. And um, I got something kind of planned a little differently that we're going to be doing things a little different. But, uh, but for this, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, this was the Stippled Rose um, stamp set. And there you have it. All right. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.